Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness from Breast Cancer Answers. I have a lot of patients who are on anti-hormonal therapy, and one of their concerns is, hey, what are the long-term side effects? Well, before answering that question, let me take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, the company who developed the Breast Cancer Index, a test that may help women with estrogen receptor positive early stage breast cancer to decide with their physicians whether to extend or end anti-estrogen therapy after five years. You know, when it comes to being on any medication, short-term, long-term, we all have to be concerned about side effects. And that's certainly true for women who are on anti-estrogen therapy, such as tamoxifen in premenopausal women and aromatase inhibitors in postmenopausal women. Now, the side effects that we've talked about that we've been the most concerned about are the possibility of uterine cancer, uh, the possibility of developing blood clots in the legs known as deep venous uh, thrombosis, uh, the uh, possibilities of uh, increased problems with heart disease, and particularly with the aromatase inhibitors, the worry about having more osteoporosis the longer that you're on the medication. Well, the side effects are potentially real, so let's deal with some of these. And I have here a statement uh, from the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists who developed the following recommendations for monitoring women who are on tamoxifen. And they, and I'm reading now from the statement, premenopausal women have no known increased risk of uterine cancer with tamoxifen and require no additional monitoring beyond routine gynecologic care. And for postmenopausal women, you should perform an annual gynecological examination. And obviously, if any symptoms develop that could suggest thickening of the uterus called endometrial hyperplasia or potentially cancer in postmenopausal women, women should be educated to report that to their gynecologists and evaluated. When I talk about the risk of uterine cancer with my gynecologist, whether that's uh, from the lining or even a very rare thing called a sarcoma, most of the medical oncologists that I talk to believe that these numbers are extremely low. Now, if a patient has a history of blood clots in the legs, then typically we're not going to be recommending a tamoxifen. And even with the aromatase inhibitors, where the chance of developing blood clots is lower, Many of medical oncologists are reluctant to uh, recommend aromatase uh, inhibitors. The osteoporosis issue is a real one with aromatase inhibitors. Almost every patient I have that's on an AI, an aromatase inhibitor, is also on vitamin D and calcium supplements. And the medical oncologists that I work with monitor their bone density certainly every other year and if it's low on an annual basis. So indeed, there are, there are side effects. The biggest one I'm concerned with with the aromatase inhibitors is osteoporosis. The other incidence of certainly cancer and blood clots in the legs is extremely low. Obviously, work closely with your medical oncologist, particularly if you have any aspect of your history that would suggest that you have an increased risk of some of these complications. Well, I hope that you found this video helpful, and let me take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, the company who developed the Breast Cancer Index. To find out more about your treatment options beyond year five, just click the button and download our free list of 15 questions to go through with your physician.